What is inside the brand new pressure plant bunker? The giant bunker that was added to the map less than 24 hours ago contains a giant secret and we are going to be glitching inside, opening up the bunker and seeing exactly what is going on. If you're excited to see what's inside the bunker early, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you're smashing it. Whilst you're down there hitting that like button, leave a comment letting me know which weapon do you want to be unvolted the most during the 14 days of summer because, as I'm sure you already know, every single day a brand new vaulted weapon is being brought back to the game. To stay up to date with the latest Fortnite news and information, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's jump into today's information and taking a further look at the bunker. First up, with the second day of the 14 days of summer, we have got the LMG back in the vault. Thank goodness, that gun was so OP, I forgot how ridiculously good it was. And instead, the quad launcher is back in the game. Also quite annoying and extremely, extremely good. We've got 12 more days of weapons returning from the vault and today's limited time mode sees you spawning into the map with a limited amount of resources and you cannot harvest any more throughout that game. So use the materials savingly and on top of that another one of the summer challenges is now available as well. Now what's going on at this bunker that was just suddenly appeared in an area of the map that hadn't changed at all during season 9? The pressure plant. So far it looked like they were just trying to contain the energy and everything that was inside the volcano since it erupted in the last season. However, out of nowhere, the storyline has progressed away from the monster and towards whatever is inside the base here. Now, as I said, we are actually going to open up the base, take a look inside and glitch the game a little bit. But first of all, I want to talk about the theories as to what people believe will be coming out of the actual bunker once it is fully activated and some little Easter eggs that are hidden around the bunker itself. Now, talking about the monster, it seems to have, you know, gone into a sort of lull period where it's just chilling, it's doing its own thing, and uh, although it was uh, getting ready for something, according to Donald Mustard a few days ago, at the moment it seems to be quite quiet and hasn't smashed any buildings so far, which leads people to believe that potentially the monster is actually contained and has been caught and is inside the base right here, just basically being stored, looked after, well I say looked after, more like interrogated, analysed, and no doubt exposed experimented on to see what on earth and how on earth this monster got on the island. Now I like that, it's a cool idea but unfortunately it is almost definitely not true. The monster, whatever it is doing currently, is uh, not quite linked to this base and is off doing its own thing. However, the thing that is inside the base could indirectly link in with the monster eventually, but we'll talk about that in a second. Now the first thing that can be found at the base, and I believe this can only be found in replay mode, so there's a little bit of a glitch, is a helmet. Now, this helmet is actually the exact helmet that we'll know, and I've shown you guys so many times from the vaulting event, from the statue in Neo Tilted. Yes, it is the Season 9 Secret Skin, the Singularity Helmet. Now, it's a slightly different colour to what we used to see, and I can explain why it's a different colour. Uh, essentially, the Singularity Skin will have several different colour theme variables that will be able to be unlocked once you get access to the Secret Skin, having got those 94 bytes during this season and one of the colour schemes is basically like a cuddle team leader colour scheme which is all pink matching the helmet which is currently sitting on top and basically overlooking whatever is going on here. Now from what we know so far the singularity skin and the hero behind this woman is that she had basically harnessed the power and helped connect Neo Tilted to form it and make it what it is through the power and harnessing the energy that was available at the last season's dig site which is obviously Loot Lake and all the energy that's coming out of it. Now she isn't the only one playing a role however in the development of what we're seeing right here at the pressure plant because after a little bit of nosing again in replay mode I found something very very interesting. So I don't know if anyone else has noticed this and I haven't seen anyone else mention it but a logo which has been reoccurring all the way since like season four has reappeared right here. Known more commonly and I've referenced it as the government organization it appears that they have gone ahead and put up the massive structure right here at the pressure plant and they are behind whatever is being developed inside the secret bunker. They were obviously the people that were behind the research and uh, the looking after the meteor when it actually hit the ground all the way back in season 4 and then a helicopter reappeared in season 8 going around the map. It turned out that they were the ones doing all the excavation sites and ultimately digging away and creating what turned out to be the massive unvolting event and the metal base at Loot Lake. And they're back here again with a 
another giant build and giant creation linking in with the storyline. I would like to think that the Singularity skin and that person is separate to the government organization and everything they've done in the past, but it seems like they're coming together and working together for whatever is going on here, which I believe is ultimately to destroy the biggest threat Fortnite has ever seen, which actually lies in the form of the monster. Now, as I said, I don't believe the monster's inside this bunker. It's still doing its own thing, but it is linked into it. So without further ado, let's do a little bit of glitching and let's actually head into the bunker ourselves. Thanks to there being a constant ability to glitch yourself from your own private creative island to the Battle Royale island, we can take a look at how the bunker will look once it's opened up. I don't know why, but for every reason, Fortnite really liked to make the Battle Royale island ahead of time and show things that will be coming in the future if you access it through creative, which is what we're doing right now. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button to hopefully make this glitch work and give us an early look. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The cover removed and the inside of the bunker is revealed with levels B3, 2, 1. What it looks to be a system which actually sees the lowering of the bunker. It looks like potentially over the coming weeks or even days we'll gradually see the revealing of more and more of the inside of this bunker and ultimately whatever comes out of it which I know what is gonna be happening. For anyone wondering, because I wondered, yes, you can actually stand on the floor. And if you go into these giant fans, no, they don't like completely chop you up. Thank goodness. But this is legitimately what is inside under the bunker at the moment. However, the bigger secret lies up here in the terminals that actually overlook the bunker itself. Now, if we go inside to the command center, as you can see with the uh, government logo on there, this is where everything's being controlled. This is where all of the buttons are, all the technology is, all the computers are, but there's something very, very important right here telling us exactly what's gonna be going on. So, it's my new, it's tiny, but on the desks here, there are three little drawings. They caught my eye because they're clearly like actual written words. You can see a little smiley face and I can't quite make out what it's saying. But the important part is this top one right here. I'll actually show you a theater shot because it's easier to show there. But that is very, very clearly a terrible rocket blueprint design, which is ultimately what will be coming out of the bunker. A rocket of a giant, giant magnitude, which will be ultimately launching itself from the highest point in the Fortnite map, or one of our highest points, which is right here on top of the volcano. But the question remains, why on earth are they building this giant rocket? Well, that's where the monster comes into play, with no doubt the world of Fortnite knowing that this monster is circling the map, has been causing damage and offers up a giant, giant threat to the world of Fortnite as we've talked about with the potential destruction of Neo Tilted. It looks like this rocket could be built to ultimately take down and destroy the monster itself. You're gonna need a rocket of a big, big scale to take down a monster of what we know to be a big, big scale as well. And it looks like potentially this is what the reason for the giant rocket that'll be coming out of here is actually gonna be used for to ultimately end, destroy, and make sure that the monster itself doesn't cause too much damage to the map. Now, I know what you're thinking, because I'm thinking it as well. Surely the rocket will cause just as much damage to the map as it will the monster. Well, maybe the rocket will actually catch the monster offshore, but that could ultimately cause huge waves, tsunamis, which will actually damage the map, maybe leading to map changes moving into season 10. But either way, whatever's going to happen with this rocket and the monster, two giant things coming together towards the end of a season as we move into the final weeks, big, big damage and big, big crazy changes will be happening to the world of Fortnite. Now, as I've always said to you guys, keep your eye out for any changes on the map, any monster sightings, but also we've got something else to be looking out for here. On top of everything I've just described to you guys, you've got to keep your eyes peeled and be ready, as I will at any moment for something to happen. I'll be covering it all right here for you guys. Do not worry. So, you've seen it here first, the inside of the bunker. If you want to see more Fortnite videos, you can 
see a load of unvoltings and gameplay yesterday on screen here or in my Fortnite players, which contains all my Fortnite videos. I really hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned over the next 12 days for more unvoltings, more summer activities, and obviously more monster and rocket themed events. It's going to be crazy. Thank you for watching. You guys are the best. Have an amazing rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow right here on the channel for more Fortnites.